Hello Cancer, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be your love reading. I'm doing things a little bit differently. I got a bunch of cool oracle cards that I've been using with a new spread that I've been trying out that I really love. Um, this is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It will not resonate with every Cancer watching. Um, that would be impossible, so check out your other placements. Um, this is going to be a situation where, um, what am, I, what am I trying to say? I can't even talk. I just started. <laughs> oh, time is fluid. So this situation could have already happened, be currently happening, or happen in the near future. So let's start with the current energies of the person you are thinking about cancer. Spirit, please share with us the current energies of the person cancer is thinking about. What are the current energies of the person that cancer is thinking about? Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, subscribed, commented on my channel recently. I really appreciate it. I read all of your comments. So thank you so much. If you like my readings, please consider subscribing. Okay, got two. I want one more. Okay, there we go. So let's see what your person is dealing with. Between worlds, okay? So immediately I thought one foot in, one foot out. Immediately. Huh observer okay someone's watching here someone's watching and waiting the fates interesting so this could be something faded and then we got a, actually a different one time for a nap okay <laughs> this person could be kneeling to rest and rejuvenate um heal possibly from something let's see this is the Osho Sen Tarot, by the way, guys. It's kind of based on traditional tarot, but it's very different at the same time. So I'm still learning it. Bear with me. But I really um, like the messages that I get when I use these cards. So, all right. Tell me about time for a nap for Cancer's person. Now, feel free to flip the rolls, guys. Rolls can be reversed. So even though I say Cancer's person, I could be talking about you, vice versa, flip them, how it resonates. Tell me about time for now. We are the world. Interesting. So this is very similar to Ten of Pentacles. Huh. Notice how it, even though the traditional tarot Ten of Pentacles is about like retirement, financial stability, and family. This is about being connected. Tell me more about time for a nap. Going with the flow. This is like Ace of Cups. Wow, what in the world? What I'm getting is this person either, okay, this, um, I'm just gonna say it because it's gonna sound the message is the message, okay? I'm just gonna share what I am being told and sharing that with you guys. Um, someone's dreaming about you or you about them. They're dreaming about a new beginning with you. They're dreaming about connecting with you. And I say that because in this We Are The World card, everybody here is holding hands. I'm also thinking of the world, right? A new cycle. The ending of a cycle for a new cycle to begin. And um, I feel like this person, I'm just thinking connecting. Coming together, right? And then I have the Ace of Cups here, going with the flow. This person also, with time for a nap, this card is about kind of letting things happen. Um, so tell me about Between Worlds. Tell me about Between Worlds. I'm going to read that message to um, the relationship message. Let me pull one card first. Past lives. Wow. Okay, let me read this. Number three. Um, relationship message. This is a time to explore the energy, the new energy between you and another. It is not a moment for certainty, but rather for discovery and curiosity. You don't, you don't yet know if this will last forever, so allow yourself to explore who you are and what is reflected back to you. This relationship is meant to educate you about yourself. You're in a critical phase of your relationship that is not to be dismissed or hurried. Interesting. And then we get past lives, past life type of connection. 
And I'm, I, I immediately thought of one foot in, one foot out. One foot in one side, one foot in the other. Um, it could be with this image here and past lives, it's like the past and the present, right? That's how I'm seeing it. So this could be a past life connection and it could be faded as well. Okay. Tell me about Observer. Tell me about Observer. Thank you. Creativity. So this is like the Empress in the tarot. Someone's looking at you and just being in awe, like they're in awe of you. Look how beautiful this card is. This person here, the Empress knows her value. She can grow, manifest. This person I feel like is watching you grow and become more attractive and more abundant. Um, I think they see you as successful as well. Tell me about the fates. the fates about for cancer compromise this is like the six of pentacles equal give and take reciprocating tell me more about the fates ordinariness this is like the eight of pentacles in the tarot see what i'm saying like it's based after tarot, but it's very different. <laughs> so this is someone again who, the ordinariness, the card is about someone who appreciates the ordinary, who takes their time, um, reaps what they sow kind of energy. Um, you know what I'm getting? I'm getting that fate has given you this harvest, this abundance. Fate has, because Six of Pentacles is about giving and receiving, um, needing help, giving help, balancing, right? Balance between two people. Um, so I feel like with Fate being here and the Eight of Pentacles with the Six of Pentacles, it's like, like someone who, the, it's a gift from Spirit that you are welcome to receive if you want. It's a gift that can grow. You know, past life connection. So let's see what this person thinks of you, Cancer. This is the animal wise spirit, I think it is called. Oracle deck. How does this person see you? How does this person see Cancer Spirit? How do they view Cancer and the connection? Earthworm, yeah, Earthworm. This is about starting new, not really knowing, getting your footing, being a newbie in something. Baby steps is what I just heard. This person I feel like with the Ace of Cups and reconnecting, connecting, um, I feel like they they want to start something new. Crocodile, watching and waiting here. Patient. Crocodile is very patient. Let me look that up real quick to make sure that I'm remembering everything that comes with that one. Okay. Okay. Now it's not the time for decisions, action, or discussion. The crocodile's mantra is wait. Intentionally withdrawing, gathering our awareness, observing, and building energy. Observer. Fill up the vital reserves so your next move comes from a place of wisdom and power. So what I'm getting from that is someone is biding their time. They're biding their time here. They're observing you and they're, they're liking what they see, clearly. And they're waiting for the right time. One more, please, for how this person views cancer. Or vice versa, remember, flip it, how it resonates. You could be seeing this person like this. Wow, tiger, love it. 
Tiger is very Queen of Wands energy. Typically feminine energy, um, doesn't have to be, but Tiger hunts at night, takes advantage of the situation, pounces on things. Bottom of the deck, the fox. I love the fox so much. Uh, foxes are, um, how do I say it? Family oriented, they mate for life kind of people. So, or animals, I should say. But in this case, it would be someone who's looking at you like a life partner. So let's go into the tarot. Spirit, what messages do you have for Cancer regarding love? What does Cancer need to know regarding love? So let's see what's the situation between you two. Okay, starting off with the Six of Pentacles again. Okay, tell me about the situation between Cancer and the person that you're thinking about. What's the current situation? Mutual energies, please. Mutual energies between Cancer and their person. Okay, all right, let's go with those. Okay, we have 10 of Pentacles, again. 10 of Wands, two tens so far. Strength, sign of Leo. Five of Swords, Six of Pentacles. Let's get one more. And I am gonna clarify all these. Let's get one more. One more, please, for Cancer and the person there. Okay, two more, I guess. Okay, we have Four of Cups and the Chariot. You know what I'm seeing? I'm seeing that somebody in this connection is losing interest or has lost interest because somebody's just too busy waiting. Someone's between worlds. Someone's not steady. Um, someone is resting or recovering or something. I feel like they're taking too long. That's for some of you. For others of you, someone wants to move forward. They don't want to lose an opportunity here. Could be a can. Oh, there's you, by the way, Cancer. I was just gonna say it could be a Cancer. I'm doing, I'm doing the Cancer reading. So yes, there's there you are. So this could be you that is discontent, um, bored, um, disinterested, um, disillusioned as well. So let's clarify these and see what these are all about here. You still see that? Okay. All right, for Cancer, let's get into this. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles, again, is about long-term stability. You know, retirement, uh, happy home, happy life, the pinnacle of success. This person could be viewing this connection like that. We'll see. Tell me about the 10 of pentacles, please. Three of wands, again with the waiting. This person, I'm getting frustrated with them and I'm not even dealing with them. Page of swords, yeah. This person's just watching and waiting. <laughs> watching and waiting and hoping um nine of swords this person's in their head about something tell me about the ten of wands probably this burden that they're carrying what's this burden what's this ten of wands about for cancer please spirit what's this ten of wands about thank you two of pentacles yeah I feel like this person hasn't decided to set down a burden yet and that's what's keeping them stuck. Tell me more about this Ten of Wands with the Two of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. So this person could be, you know, finding the courage here to make a decision, to stand up for what they choose, to fight for themselves, right? Like no more carrying this burden. There's the Eight of Pentacles again. I'm going to focus on myself. I don't want to have to be dealing with anybody's crap. <laughs> um, you know, I want to get to the finish line here. And I feel like this person, they've been stagnant. Tell me about strength. This is about needing courage, um, learning how to approach a situation, right? Not using force if it's not needed, kind of trusting. Okay, so we have Seven of Swords and the Star. Sign of Aquarius, 
sign of Leo here as well. So someone here, I feel like, is looking at their star, but the, the way that these cards are laid out. Someone's kind of sneaking around. Again, sneaking around, not really being up front here. Watching, waiting. I feel like, I wonder if you even know that this person feels this way for you. This person could be strategizing as well, thinking and thinking about how to approach you. Um, they could just be healing from a situation as well. Eight of Cups under the deck. I wonder if this person is also, for some of you, this person is thinking about leaving a situation, possibly a commitment here. And I, I don't think they've done it yet. Um, but I think fate's getting involved if that's the case. Let's see if this Five of Swords. Tell me about this Five of Swords, please. What's this Five of Swords doing here, Spirit? Five of Swords, this is about kind of mental conflict here. Um, unfair advantage over someone. But, you know, Swords are communication as well. Could be um, communication that wasn't the nicest <laughs> someone could have walked away from this situation i have six of cups and justice sign of libra there someone here wants to make a situation right in the past i feel like something didn't work out some words were said exchanged here um this could be a past life connection as well but with justice someone wants to make things right Bottom of the deck, Ten of Swords. Definitely an ending here. Someone could also have made a final decision to cut something out completely from the past. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles about. Ace of Swords. Yeah, there's going to be clarity that's going to bring balance to the situation. I feel like that's going to be the gift from spirit, from fate. It's clarity about a situation. Tell me more about Ace of Swords for Cancer. Temperance, patience, healing. I feel like this clarity is going to bring patience and or healing to the situation, rebalancing of the situation again. Okay, so tell me about the Four of Cups. Start with the Four of Cups. Tell me more about this Four of Cups, please. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, someone probably is looking back at the past, discontent. Something hasn't grown, hasn't worked out here for them. They're wondering if they invested in the right thing, if they um, put their efforts into something, if something's ever going to grow for them, if something's ever going to happen for them. Ten of Cups. I wonder if this person's wondering about, you know, if they invested in the wrong person or situation where they're not getting the Ten of Cups they thought they would. Um, I feel like that's what they want, though. Tell me about the Chariot. Moving forward. This person could be traveling to see you, could live at a distance, doesn't have to be. This is all about victory and success here with the Chariot. Moving ahead. Wow, Five of Cups. This person could just be regretting the past, being sad over what they lost. Why the Five of Cups? Queen of Cups, because they hurt the person they loved. They invested in the wrong person. I, I just heard they invested in the wrong person. This Queen of Cups made them very happy with the sun. They want happiness. This person could also just be thinking they don't want to lose an opportunity here where they can actually grow something of value, where they can actually harvest something of value. Let's see what other messages we have. Spirit, what other messages do we have? For Cancer. What other messages do we have for Cancer? What are the messages that we have for Cancer? Grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Well, this person has definitely lost something here with the Five of Cups. Growth. 
I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. I feel this, this, this person has gone through a personal growth or needs to go through a personal growth for this to continue. Um, I also feel like with growth, I'm getting the Seven of Pentacles energy where this person wants to invest in something that will grow. But this person could be so caught up in their grief and what they've lost that they're not moving and they're going to lose. Self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Yeah, this person could not have, probably does not possess the confidence to approach you. So let's see what they would tell you. And there's honesty at the bottom of the deck. Let's see what they would tell you if they had the chance. What would this person tell Cancer Spirit? What would this person tell Cancer if they had the chance? What would this person tell Cancer if they had the chance? What would this person tell Cancer if they had the chance? Messages with this person. Share with Cancer. Okay. I have two here. I feel trapped. Well, pretty sure that's your own doing, my friend. Whoever this is. He's trapped between two worlds, he or she. They're trapped between two worlds, between two decisions, between what to do, between being courageous or being a coward. Sorry. I'm deeply attracted to you. Okay. I definitely got that energy with creativity. This person is observing you. They're very attracted to you. I feel like you are what they want, but are they going to have the courage? Is it too late? Well, probably because you're taking your sweet time. I feel like they, they took too long or they didn't grow the spine in time. Who knows? One more, please. I'm ready to commit. Well, isn't that nice? Someone's ready to commit. They're deeply attracted to you. They feel trapped. And is it too late? Bottom of the deck, I screwed up. Well, we know that. This person could have hurt you in the past with the Seven of Swords energy here. Or they probably didn't, didn't act on what they felt, right? They left you hanging. They weren't honest. They, they weren't open. They didn't probably even know what they wanted. And I feel like you guys were kind of like, well, bye. I mean, I'm not going to deal with this, you know? And now this person's thinking, well, you know, I finally ready. I have the courage, but will you even hear them out, Cancer? I don't know. I'll leave it here. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If it resonated with you, please leave me a comment down below. Let me know. Like and subscribe if you enjoy my readings. Thanks again to everyone that has subscribed, liked, or commented on my videos. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you guys back here in my next video. Take care.